Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be looking at how we can set up data-driven coloring for the objects in our model using VCAD in Power BI. In this example, we'll be using the Forge Viewer with a Revit file, but the procedure remains the same for any type of file while using the Forge Viewer. First of all, let's have a look at the scenario we're proposing for this example. Uh, here we're looking at the uh, Revit model of a hospital and we want to be able to display inside of the model information about the installation progress of some railings and some grab bars that we have in the model. So one of the things we could do is for example uh, simply select the railings and under special equipment uh, filter the model and review only the information that we're interested in. What we'd like to do, however, is to give some further information. So not only identify uh, the grab bars, for example, but also be able to immediately understand uh, what installation is looking like for that object. So has the installation process begun? Uh, has it been completed? Uh, one way we have to convey this sort of information is through colors. So coloring the objects, different colors, uh, and mapping those colors to a meaning. Specifically, what we want to be able to do is uh, color the objects red if work has not begun, yellow or orange if it work is in progress, and then finally green if the work has been completed. So let's jump in and see how we would do that. Uh, first of all, uh, in this scenario we're imagining that we have uh, the installation progress information coming from an external data source. So let's start by importing that information. If we go over to get data, uh, in this case we'll be using a CSV file, but of course this can be done with any other uh, data source. We have this installation progress CSV file and we're going to load it in. Now uh, the data in this case is structured as follows. We have first of all an object ID. Uh, the object ID is, of course, the uh, identification for every object in our model. This object ID is created by Forge when the model is initially created, and so it's the simplest way to connect data to our 3D rendering. Uh, this, of course, can be done with a number of different other properties. We could use the object name or maybe some specific property that was defined inside of our Revit model, but for simplicity, uh, in this case, we're just going to use object IDs. Next up, we have a progress percentage. So it's a, va a value from 0 to 100 that tells us uh, how far along the installation process is. Uh, if the installation has begun, we'll have a start date. And if it has actually completed or is nearing completion, then we'll have an end date. So we can go ahead and load in this data. Uh, wait for Power BI to refresh. Okay, uh, and now let's jump into the transform data section because we're going to need to apply some transformations to our data. First of all, let's actually review our installation progress uh, data set and see that everything has been loaded incorrectly. It looks like it. And now uh, we want to add another uh, data source to, to our uh, project. Uh, we're going to be classifying uh, the installation progress into four different levels. Uh, we're going to do uh, quarters of 100%, so from 0 to 25% will be level 1, and so on and so forth. To do that, because it's just four levels, we can actually just enter them by hand. It'll be easy enough. Okay, here we want to uh, start by defining the level. Uh, then we're going to jump in with the minimum value, maximum value, uh, an actual color, and then a description. So level will be our uh, identifier column, which will be used to link the, these categories to our progress uh, information coming from our external data source. So let's keep it simple. Let's just say level 1, uh, minimum value is 0. Maximum value is 25. For the color, we're going to drop in this color code, which maps to a red. And then, again, keeping it simple, we just want something that sort of describes what we have. This is level 1, and it goes from 0% to 
25%. Uh, okay, next up, level 2, of course, goes from 25 to 50. We have a second color code that we can drop in here. Uh, and this is 2 from 25% to 50%. Jump in with level 3. We're doing 50 to 75. Drop in the third color code right here. From 50% to 75%. Maybe make this a little larger so we can read better. And finally, level 4 will be from 75 to 100. Last color code, this maps to a green right here. And so 4 is from 75% to 100%. Okay, now let's name this table. We're going to name it uh, something simple, installation levels, and go ahead and save. Okay, and we can see we actually now have the information. Uh, now, we're going to need to uh, relate these two tables together. So we'll want, inside of the installation progress, a column that we can map to the installation levels data set. Uh, so to do that, let's go ahead and select the data set, and in Add Column section here, we can add a custom column. Uh, so let's name the color something, again, something easy. We'll call it installation level. And I actually have here the formula that we can drop in and have a look at. Fairly simple formula. We're saying that if the progress, which is, of course, the percentage progress here that we have in our installation progress table, if progress is greater or equal to zero, and at the same time it is... Uh, smaller than 25, then we map it to level 1. Uh, otherwise, if it's between 25 and 50, level 2. If it's between 50 and 75, level 3. In all other cases, we'll map it to level 4. So let's save this. And here we go, we have this information. Now, we can go ahead and switch back and close and apply all of these options. We should be done with our transformations for now. Okay, let's review the model section of our report. Now, in the model section, if we zoom out a little, we have these two new data sets, uh, which we might actually want to select and move over a while. Uh, over here, and let's, let's actually put them here next to the assets table. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so now we want to, first of all, connect the two data sets to one another. So that'll be, be pretty easy. We'll simply draw, drag the installation level to the level in between our two columns. And now we want to connect the installation progress table to the VCAT assets table. Uh, this is because um, our custom visual is now already talking with the VCAT assets table. And in any case, we'll want to be able to have access to uh, other extracted data from our model. So it'll just be quicker and easier to connect these two. We'll drag the object ID and connect it to the object ID. Okay. So at this point, we're pretty much good to go. Uh, we need to switch back to the report and change some objects and some options. Uh, let's make sure that everything was connected correctly. So here we had our assets list. Let's just add to it the um, progress information over here. And now you can see we have the percentage of progress for each of the assets that we're looking at. Uh, next, let's have a look at the actual visual. So if we select the custom visual and go to the format section, let's make this a little larger. Uh, we need to be looking for the show theme color now the show theme color option will activate 
uh, the possibility to apply different colors to our model. Uh, as you see, uh, the theme selector was displayed up on the uh, top left corner of our model. This will allow us to select what color theme to apply to our objects. Uh, but before we do that, we need to go back here to the fields section and actually uh, bind the color information. So we want to look for the highlight, highlight color here and drag in from our installation levels the color column. Okay, at this point we'll see that here we have access to this color which is uh, the new theme that we added. We can select it and have a look at some of the objects that we're interested in and we can see that different colors are being applied to each object. Uh, so we have um, orange or yellow for work in progress and green for completed objects. At this point we have already achieved all the functionality that we were looking to achieve. Uh, what we can do is we can uh, add some final touches to the report to make it a little more functional. Uh, I'll do that and jump right back in as soon as I'm done. Okay, uh, here we are again with our report. So I went ahead and added a few different information and uh, visuals to our report. I added uh, an installation slicer, which uh, has our four levels of installation and allows us to focus in on a specific level, as well as a floor filter just to make the model easier to read. Uh, also an indicator that gives us the average progress of all of the currently selected objects. So uh, now if we go ahead and apply our color theme uh, and let's switch to x-ray mode, maybe focus in on a specific floor. We can zoom in a little and we'll see as before we have the different themes being applied to all of the objects. So I immediately know what has been completely installed, what is a work in progress, and what instead uh, still needs to be addressed. Uh, also, one thing I did is I added a tooltip uh, page and connected it up to the custom visual. So now when I hover over objects, uh, I immediately know uh, the object's name, if there is a start date, uh, possibly an end date, and the installation percentage of this specific object. So if we switch over to this uh, orange railing, we'll see uh, work has started, but it's in the very early stages. And if we switch over instead to this green one, I can see it's not complete, it's at 77%, but uh, we have already an end date scheduled for this completion of this object. This was a very quick and simple way to uh, apply uh, further meaning to our model and to the representation of our model uh, by simply adding colors to the various objects. This course opens the doors for uh, a bunch of different possibilities with your reports, not only uh, completion, but anything else that you can pretty much imagine. Uh, thank you for tuning in and, and stay tuned for more videos on uh, how to improve your Power BI reports using BCAD.